don't think I'd be rude if I said you have an obsession with Tom Paul Blenny's, am I right? I think it's pretty much, yeah. Fascination bordering on obsession. So let's talk about this site in particular. Wembury Bay itself is a conservation area, very special. Mm. And the spot we're going to today is a particular reef with amazing number of crevice habitats for blennies. There are about four males that I hope we'll okay. see. They have names. There's Leo, there's Tony, that's Scarface. He's got very distinct scars around his mouth, which are almost certainly from fighting with another male. So what is it about Tom Pop Blennies that is so interesting? It was about 10 years ago when I realised that you could identify with certainty individuals by their face markings. And once you can identify individuals, it's so powerful in terms of studying animal behaviour. You know how long one's kept a territory and they're very territorial. You know who's getting together with who because they've got very complex love lives. Yeah. And so that just put things on a whole new level. It's individuals you know and they can stay for years in the same territory. You see them quite fresh faced, then you see them injured from fighting. You see them come back another year, getting together with different fish and, and behave differently. Some of the males are very um, timid, others are really bold. And as soon as you get anywhere near them with a camera, you know, they rush out. What are you doing? Really? What's going on? Yeah. So the blennies really are living cheek by jowl with different predators. We've got velvet swimming crabs just living just above them and they're yeah. under this constant threat. They've got to guard those eggs. Yes, absolutely. All those animals like the velvet swimming crabs you say would just come and have a snack of the eggs as soon as, you know, any opportunity if the blennies turn their backs. Yeah. So they've really got to be on their guard. And people think of those red-eyed velvet swimming crabs as being really fierce when they find them in rock pools, but they're no match for a blenny that wants to defend its eggs. Why do you come back to the UK and why do you love diving in the UK so much? The fact that when you dive somewhere, you know, you live close to, mm. you can go back to the same spots and find the same individual animals. And once you start doing that, I just find, think that lifts the diving to a whole new level. You know, British diving can be so challenging and actually we forget that there's some beautiful dives out there, incredible life, and you really don't have to go to that much effort. Absolutely, right on our doorstep. Yeah, yeah just get the conditions right, that's the thing. And, and then it's very special.